And folks, we welcome you here into the uh, well, right outside the gymnasium here at Fike High School as our Wilson County coaching tour continues. We're joined now by Wilson Fike Golden Demon head coach Tom Nelson. Coach, thank you so much for taking some time out to talk to us today. No problem. Thanks for coming. Uh, coach, you know, we were talking a little off camera. Um, the Big East is a conference where you've got a lot of teams who are ready to play some good football from day one. Uh, season, we're about three weeks away at this point from the season kicking off. Um, you guys coming back, coming off the back of a great season, you bring back a really good quarterback, you bring back a really good running back, you bring back a lot of good players. Uh, you know, just give us a quick, uh, quick overview of 2015 coming up for the Golden Demons. Well, we're, we are very excited. Uh, like you said, we have, a, we have a lot of great players coming back. Um, we're concerned about our defense. We lost eight or nine really good seniors that we're going to have to replace. Uh, but we feel good about our young kids. You know, our JVs have only lost one game in the last two years, and, and they have worked really hard since January, and, uh, and they're, they're excited to strap it up. Coach, we're going to start talking about one of those top players, DJ Daniels. You know, anyone who can bring back, I believe his, this will be his third year as a starter, three-year starting quarterback, a kid who's lit up the league like he has. Uh, you know, we talked about him holding his college offers. He has uh, does have a college commitment in now, James Madison University. Um, great school, great school. A uh, place he's going to be able to go and hopefully thrive. You know, a kid like that, you're going to put a lot on his shoulders this year. What are you expecting out of DJ? Well, his you know his maturation process over the last three years has been has been phenomenal, uh, from a young kid as a sophomore starter, uh, and then maturing and, and playing better last year, and, and we're hoping he was going to make that final step and, uh, and and lead us to a bunch of wins this year. But he you know he, he does a lot of decision making for us. Uh, he puts us in a lot of right plays, and, and in our offense, he he has to make a lot of great decisions in a, in a hurry, and uh, so hopefully in his third year he's going he's going to be able to excel. Coach, uh, a guy you will not have this year, Anthony Evans. Um, Got to be one of the best players you've ever coached, without a doubt. Uh, Boo Boo, as they call him. Boo Boo has moved on. Uh, A.J. Hines is back. It's been a two-headed rushing attack for you for a couple years now. You know, what are we going to see more out of the backfield with no Anthony Evans, but still a really good runner in A.J. Hines? Well, first off, we are going to miss Anthony Evans. That, he was He's one of the best players I've ever coached, but – but more than that, he was a great leader. Uh, he was he was our Ray Lewis. Uh, he he gave much better pregame speeches than I did. So we're going, we get, we had to find somebody to take that role as as team leader and and, and really take control of the team. Uh, but now we're excited. We got we have several kids that we think that are, are really capable of running the ball and fitting in our offense. Um, Lavera Spate, who we affectionately call Squeak, uh, played for us last year, and he's going he's going to have an expanded role. Uh, we have a young kid um, coming up from the JVs named Kenny Johnson, who has been outstanding for us on the JVs for two years. Um, so we we feel really good that we have three or four guys that can step in and and, and help us offensively run the ball. Coach, it's been it's been a hot summer. I think we can all admit to that. Uh, how have your uh, how have your off season workouts been going? It's been really good. We went to well, we took our team to FCA camp. We had about. Uh, 60 kids, well, 50 kids go to FCA camp, and that was really good. Um, and then the times that we have been able to work, we have got a lot of work done. Uh, our summer is really disjointed now with the, the dead periods that the state makes us take. But I think we've got the most out of our time. I think we've got some uh, work in the weight room done. I think we got some rest. Um, and so, you know, we're, we're, ready, we're ready, hopefully, for the long haul. Are uh, going to be starting practice on Saturday or going to go on Monday? Saturday morning, 8 o'clock. Well, sounds like fun. Uh, Coach, we know the Big East Conference we touched on a little bit earlier. It's going to be another fun year in the Big East. Um, you know, a lot of teams have talent, no doubt about it. Um, your non-conference schedule, kind of run down your non-conference and uh, tell, you, tell us how you think it's going to get you ready for the conference. Well, uh, our non-conference has changed a little bit. We're starting out uh, Bunn, who is the same as our endowment game, and then we go to East Wake, who is a really uh, talented team. Um, and then Kinston at home, Beddingfield at home, uh, and then we're going to South Granville, who I've who we've never played, who I know nothing about, but uh, had to find a, a, a team to fill our schedule, and they and so we worked it out with them. And then uh, our last non-conference game is home against Corinth Holders. So uh, so our non-conference has really stepped up a little bit. We don't really have a game that we can mark off as a win. 
and that's going to be good for us. It's going to get us some good tests early. Um, there's going to be some power running teams. There's going to be some spread teams. There's going to give us a good look going into our conference. Coach, sounds great. And uh, we definitely look forward to seeing you this season on the uh, Friday night football game of the week. And definitely look forward to covering you guys here on the all new sports show. Folks, Fike head coach Tom Nelson, thank you so much, coach. And uh, that's going to wrap up our fight portion of this year's high school football preview.